Hi, I'm Jeannie with the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. Today we are going to talk about weather. The atmosphere is the air or gases that surround the Earth or other planet. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and about 1% other gases. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. This includes thunderstorms, clouds, heat, wind, tornadoes, snow, sunshine, cold weather, and fog. Less common events include natural disasters, such as tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and ice storms. A meteorologist is someone who forecasts the weather. Meteorologists are experts in meteorology, which is the study of weather. On the left is a broadcast meteorologist. They give their weather forecast on the news or radio. On the right is a National Weather Service meteorologist, and we produce seven-day weather forecasts for the public we also issue warnings for thunderstorms and tornadoes. Sometimes weather comes in the form of precipitation. Precipitation is any liquid or frozen water falling from the sky. This includes snow, rain, sleet, and hail. The difference between sleet and hail is sleet falls in the winter when it's cold and hail falls from thunderstorms. Hail is often larger than sleet. Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold it is outside. The maximum or highest temperature is usually in the afternoon. The minimum or lowest temperature is usually in the morning. Temperature is measured with a thermometer, and it is always measured in the shade. Humidity is a measure of moisture or water vapor in the air. Water can be a solid, as in ice, liquid, or gas, like steam. Water vapor is the gas state of water. Humidity is measured with a hygrometer, and the humidity is high when there is a lot of moisture in the air. Another form of weather are clouds. Clouds are made of water droplets or frozen crystals. Clouds can affect the temperature. Less clouds in the daytime will allow for more heating from the sun, and therefore warmer temperatures. More clouds at night will trap heat close to the Earth's surface, and temperatures will be warmer. Wind is the flow or movement of air. Wind is measured with an anemometer, like the one pictured just to the right. We forecast and measure direction and speed of wind. A wind gust is a brief increase in the speed of wind, usually less than 20 seconds. Ocean waves are driven by winds. Stronger winds produce higher waves. Fog consists of tiny water droplets or ice crystals suspended in the air near the ground. Fog is the same as a cloud. The only difference is fog is at or near the ground. So fog is much lower. Fog reduces visibility and can make travel difficult or even dangerous. Frost is a thin layer of ice that forms on surfaces, usually overnight. Frost forms in near freezing temperatures with calm winds. In this case, water vapor, a gas, is changed to ice crystals, a solid. A similar process is dew. 
Dew is water droplets that form on surfaces, usually overnight. Moisture from the air condenses onto cool surfaces. Water vapor, a gas, is changed to liquid water. Thunderstorms vary in strength and size. All thunderstorms produce lightning. Severe thunderstorms can produce large hail, damaging winds, and even tornadoes. The picture on the left is a radar tower. This radar tower provides images of rain and thunderstorms. In the middle picture, the yellow and red colors are locations where it is raining heavier with possible thunder. The green colors are where it is raining lighter with less of chance of thunder. A tornado is a spinning column of air that drops down from a thunderstorm. Tornadoes are touching the ground. If it is not touching the ground, then it's called a funnel cloud. Tornadoes vary in strength and size. They are rated from 0 to 5 on the enhanced Fujita EF scale. A tropical cyclone is a spinning storm with a low pressure center, strong winds, and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain. Tropical depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes are all tropical cyclones. A tropical depression is an organized storm with winds less than or equal to 38 miles per hour. A tropical storm is more organized with winds 39 to 73 miles per hour. A hurricane is very organized with winds of 74 and higher miles per hour. In this picture on the right, the southeast U.S. is where the red circle is. The green arrows are showing where tropical cyclones form and move. Sometimes they form off the west coast of Africa and move west. Sometimes they form in the Caribbean Sea or the Gulf of Mexico and move to the west, northwest, or north. The winds carry these storms in the direction they are blowing. In order for a tropical cyclone to develop, we need warm ocean waters of at least 80 degrees or higher. We need an area of low pressure, often called a disturbance. This usually begins as a cluster of thunderstorms. And we also need light winds near the ocean and up above in the atmosphere. Climate is different than weather. Climate is the long-term average of weather, typically averaged over 30 years. This includes temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind, and precipitation. The picture on the right is weather observing equipment. It takes automated samples or measurements of the air every hour or more often if the weather is changing. This weather station measures temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind speed, wind direction, and gusts. It tells us if it's raining, snowing, or if there's sleet or freezing rain. And it tells us how much rain has fallen and it will tell us if there's fog. Weather occurs now or in the near future. Climate is long-term weather patterns. For more information and weather activities and games, visit weather.gov slash Thank you for watching.